Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today is all about the flat felled seam. We are gonna go over how to create a flat felled seam and we are going to be using the flat felled seam foot. This makes sewing flat felled seams a breeze. They're so easy. You might be wondering, why do I wanna make flat felled seams? I just like making plain seams. Well, the flat felled seams are made with two rows of stitches, which means they are extra strong and they hide the raw edges. So you don't need to worry about zigzagging or surging, etc. And they are flat, so they are nice and comfy against the skin. So follow along and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create flat felled seams with the flat felled seam foot. I bet you even have flat felt seams in your closet right now. They're most commonly on the side seams of dress shirts and the inseam of pants. Fun fact, the flat felt seam goes all the way back to Roman times. Can you believe it? Now let's get into creating that flat felt seam with the flat felt foot. So when we create this seam, what we're basically gonna do is take two pieces of fabric and we are gonna fold them around each other so that they're covering up the other one's raw edge. Pretty cool, huh? Something that I find interesting about this seam is that both of the fabrics are not gonna have the same seam allowance. Do you believe it? What? So you can either adjust your pattern beforehand or you can go back and cut off seam allowance on one of them. So your bottom fabric is gonna have 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and your top fabric is going to have 3 eighths. But if you didn't wanna adjust that beforehand, you can go ahead and sew a regular seam and then cut off a quarter inch of your seam allowance on your top fabric. Now let me show you how to make that flat felled seam. To put this foot on, it is super easy. All we need to do is pull off our existing foot and go ahead and just click this one on. And it has automatically lined up everything where it needs to be to get perfect stitching. The first thing we're gonna do is place our fabric in that has the 5 8 inch seam allowance and we're gonna line it up with the red line on the outside of the plate here. And now what we're gonna do is take our other piece of fabric, which has 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance on it, face down, and we are going to line it up with this little red spot on the foot right there. So make sure they are pulled to the back, make sure they are nice and lined up, and you've got them in the right position. And you've also got them to the back of the foot where that red horizontal line is, and go ahead and put down your foot. And now that you have everything lined up, we're gonna go ahead and just do a stitch all the way down to the bottom of the fabric. Since this is essentially a straight seam, we are going to make sure that we're back stitching at the beginning and the end when we create this. And as you go, just make sure you're keeping these two pieces of fabric lined up with those guides. That's the great part about this foot is that it has those guides there for you. So that way you can create a really beautiful seam. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. So now you can see we have those two pieces of fabric sewn together. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So now what we're gonna do is open up our fabric. So you have both of the wrong sides facing you here. And now that part that has the 5 8 seam allowance on it, we're gonna take it, we're gonna fold it over a little bit, and then we're gonna fold it to the other piece of fabric. And now we're gonna line it up in our foot a special way. So that way we have these guides giving us a perfect stitch right on this fold here. To get this started, I'm just gonna fold the top of the fabric over and I'm going to slide the fold into this little divot right here. So we're gonna slide it over and the rest of it goes under. So you can see how it's just gliding right into the foot. So we're just gonna line it up so that way we have the fabric starting at the back of our foot here at the horizontal line. We can go ahead and put down our foot and start stitching, it is that simple. So what it's doing here is folding this fabric under and it's gonna give us a perfect edge stitch right on this fold here. Now one tip I do have is that making sure your fabric is nice and flat as it goes into the machine. You also want to backstitch here as well. 
and just work your way all the way down the fabric, making sure it's nice and flat and that your fabric is folded as it goes in. But this foot really helps keep it folded and the edge stitch looking so beautiful and perfect on that edge. It's pretty amazing. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Look at how beautiful this flat felled seam looks. This edge stitch is just so perfect along this fold here. When we turn it over, you can see that we have this beautiful straight even stitch on the outside. We did it! We finished the flat felled seam with our flat felled seam foot and it was so easy and I just love how perfect this edge stitch turned out right on the fold of that fabric. It is stunning. It would be so hard to do this without that foot to make it that perfect but this foot really helps guide you and gives you that perfect fold and stitch. It's amazing. So next time you wanna make flat felt seams, make sure you grab a flat felt seam foot. And a big shout out to Asia for donating this to the studio because it's a game changer. Thank you, Asia. I hope you enjoyed making a flat felt seam with me today using the flat felt foot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I would love to know where you like to make flat felt seams on your project, or is this brand new to you? Have you never ever tried it and this is gonna be your first time? I would love to know that too. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Sony Anastasia on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those fabulous social media websites. So that way we can stay connected and creative together. And speaking of that, make sure you send me your projects you're working on. I would love to share them with everyone else. So make sure you email them or just tag Sony Anastasia and I would love to repost them. And if you're in Chicago, make sure you stop in for a sewing class. That's right, you can come take sewing classes at Sewing Anastasia in person. So check that out at SewingAnastasia.com. And you can now get merch. Merch is down below. So check out those cute little icons of the t-shirts. That's Sewing Anastasia merch. Crazy, right? So fun. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.